Hello friends, the last topic of paper 4 of general studies contains probity in governance. So in this video, I will discuss the concept and importance of probity in governance. However, before starting the discussion of this topic, first let's check out the UPSC syllabus of probity in governance. First point is concept of public service. Next, philosophical basis of governance and probity. Information sharing and transparency in government. Right to information. Codes of ethics. Codes of conduct. Citizens characters and work culture, quality of service delivery, utilization of public funds, challenges of corruption. Now let's check out what is the meaning of probity. As defined by Oxford Dictionary the quality or condition of having a strong moral principles, integrity, good character, honesty, decency. Likewise, probity is the act of adhering to the highest principle and ideas rather than avoiding corrupt or dishonest conduct. It balances service to the community against the self-interest of individuals. Now, the next question is, what is meaning of probity in governance? Probity in governance is an essential and vital requirement for an efficient and effective system of governance and for socio-economic development. Next question is, what are the requisites of probity? Prima facie, the most significant requisite of probity in governance is the absence of corruption, effective laws, updated rules and regulations governing every aspect of public life and an effective, efficient and fair means of implementation of these laws and rules ensuring discipline in the system. Next question is why is probity in governance important? The success of governance can be defined by good governance and good governance essentially includes the avoidance of conflicts of interest and corrupt practices and ensuring the welfare of society at large. Next question is, what are the probity principles? Following are some of significant probity principles. Accountability. It involves maintaining good records that leave an audit trial. Next one is transparency. Transparency minimizes the opportunity for and risk of fraud and corruption. Next is impartiality. Impartiality maintains the reputation and integrity of the organization. Confidentiality. Confidentiality must be ensured in a manner to protect the rights, interests and corruption of all involved. Conflict of interest. Conflicts of interest must be disclosed and addressed so that procedure can be implemented to manage them effectively and mitigate the impacts. So that's all for this video. Wish you good luck.